Okay, I'm out here at Claiborne High School with Coach Nathan Medlin of the Bulldogs. Uh, we're talking high school football. What have you learned uh, through the spring practices and your spring game? What did you learn from that? Uh, I learned we've got a, a lot of younger kids that, that's doing a good job of stepping up. We've had a, a, had to basically fill in a brand new offensive line this spring. We've had a lot of freshmen and sophomores really step up and, and do a great job. Um, we've got some kids that are um, out with injury. We've got some that were doing really well at State. Tyrell um, came in second, third at State, which is awesome. Um, we had a couple other kids qualify for sectionals and different events and tracks. So we had a lot of kids that aren't used to starting that got an opportunity to step in and, and fill in some starting roles, at least during spring football and our, our spring game. Um, we've got to do a better job of, of helping the younger kids grow up a little bit more, and I think we're going to be just fine. Okay, uh, <clears throat> how does your offense play? Um, right now, uh, we only have to replace three um, three guys on offense. We had to replace, now there are three very important guys. We have to replace our center and our left guard and our left tackle. Um, but we've got, we've got all the skill guys back and the other offensive linemen back. So as far as offense goes, we, we don't have to start over at ground zero. Most of the backs have been through it uh, at least for a year or two. Um, we, should be, we should be in really good shape when this ball rolls around. Okay, defensive wise, uh... Did you like what you saw from, from them? Yeah, I mean, they, they did a phenomenal job flying around. Uh, you could tell it was spring football. Um, we, were not, we were not as crisp on calls or on adjustments as we needed to be. Um, but I love the enthusiasm, love the effort. That was always fun to watch, and I love watching our boys play. Okay, a lot of people think the, the most important position is quarterback. I'm, I'm not that way. I think that your linemen are very important, maybe more important than the quarterback. Uh, if would, he's not got time, he can't do nothing. How, how are they looking? Uh, the offensive line right now is very young. Um, I, I would hate to I would hate to gauge their ability off this spring. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about them. They're just young. They need more experience. They need more reps, more playing time. Um, I, I agree with you. Our offensive line is going to be our bread and butter. If we've got a good offensive line, we're going to look really good. If our offensive line doesn't play well, then we're going to struggle. Um, as far as our quarterback position goes, um, Isaac Daniels has done a great job into last year, this spring, stepping up. Um, if he continues to progress, then I, I won't I won't lose too much sleep over the quarterback position. Okay, uh, during your spring game, what what position or uh, what group played the best? Give you a surprise. Uh, our, our linebacker core on defense did a really good job of, of filling holes. Uh, we had several tackles for a loss, and we only got to play about two quarters before the storm kicked us off the field, but we had several tackles for a loss. Our linebackers did a good job. Um, offensively, um, our young linemen, they did a good job on their assignments. Um, I would love to see a little bit more aggression, but they did a good job on their assignments. Um, but overall, on offense, uh, our, our running backs ran the ball extremely hard. We had a lot of explosive plays. Uh, you know, we have a couple running backs. Cole Jones looks like he's in a, on a different speed than anybody else. So, you know, seeing that kind of stuff is, is really nice as a coach. It makes you feel a lot better. Okay, let's flip that over. What made you scratch your head a little bit after the game? Uh, we uh, we did some we did some pretty dumb stuff. Um, you know, we had offensive linemen uh, block their own guy at times. We had uh, we had one instance where our running back went the wrong way um, on defense. Uh, we had guys blitz when they shouldn't have and not blitz when they, when they should have. So, you know, it's, it's little small things that I really, I'm going to, right now I'm chalking up to inexperience and, and youth and hopefully we can, we can work our way out of that. Okay, uh, there's some, been some coaching changes. Uh, anything you want or can talk about right now about your coaches? Uh, right now, um, I've got I've got some former players that are that are helping me out on varsity: Blake Helderman, and Blake Hill, and Daniel Eversole. Um, hopefully, if we get some teaching positions open up, we can look to bring in some other coaches. Um, there's been a couple other people that's kind of mentioned they might want to help, but right now those three have been consistent showing up. Um, you know, I, they're, they're young, just like our players, so it's going to be a how fast can we mature as a team, coaching staff-wise and player-wise. Okay, as this transition into uh, weightlifting over the summer, uh, are you happy with what you see there? Yeah, I mean, our guys do a great job in the weight room. Uh, Mason does a phenomenal job with our weightlifting program. I think that... You know, as far as having strong kids, we do have strong kids, and, and I don't have any doubt they'll continue to get strong. 
Um, but I, I love seeing the agility increase and their ability to, to be explosive. That's kind of what we're looking for this summer is to be become more explosive overall. Okay. Uh, when you start practicing for, for real? For real practice. Uh, we have our fall camp starting July 24th. That's the first day of full contact in Tennessee. And that's when we bring them in for the week and keep them overnight. Um, the week before that is, is the acclimatization period with shells. But, you know, I, I love I love seven on seven and shell practice. But for me, until we get full pads on, it's not really football. All right. Thanks for talking to me, Coach, and hope you have a good season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Subscribe and comment below. Guys, dip, dip.